Welcome to Fan Court South Africa. This place is unreal for patient golfers with three great golf courses and incredible facilities. This inspirational location has been chosen to host the inaugural championship, one of the five stages of the 2015 World Amateur Tour. A prestigious golf tour for exclusive amateurs who have always dreamed to have a taste of the pro-like experience. Former professional golfer on the European Tour, Jean-Charles Cambon has made this dream real. This tour came uh, from the passion, the passion I have for, for the game. 30 years of playing golf as a professional first, as organizing tournaments and meeting friends. And uh, I really wanted to, 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 to create something for my, my best friend and the best amateur in the world. Allow them to play the best courses in the best condition. As a pro, I know that most amateurs uh, love to be pro, love to play like pro. So it's, uh, I think it's a good concept and uh, I look forward to, to see the results uh, next, next, uh, next day. After landing in George, locating in the Western Cup province, players are warmly welcomed in the glamorous atmosphere of the manor house. Being treated like a pro is a very special feeling. A wonderful place, wonderful organization. From the food, from the cars, you know, all the, you know, everything that is around the tournament uh, was just uh, unbelievable. The hotel is just amazing. Uh, the, the, the staff are just, they, they take great care of you. I mean, uh, anything that you may need, uh, they're there for you. Uh, uh, the, I mean, the, the, the hotel is just wonderful. The rooms were just perfect. This two-day competition has no alike. Players travel from all over the world to be a part of this wonderful event and walk in the footsteps of the professional golfers. I think it's a wonderful idea. I think for all us amateurs who've been watching golf on television and who have been lucky enough to play eventually in pro-ams, to be able to have the lifestyle of a professional golf player is a wonderful idea. I've always watched golf on TV. Uh, it's definitely something that I've you know, had a passion for. I'm very passionate about golf. And uh, I always wondered how pros played and you know, their conditions and what, what happens behind the golf course. I love to have my, my caddy, I love to have my, even when I received my bag at home, I was like a kid uh, with my name on the bag, so wow, it's, it was so fantastic. I'm very proud to, uh, to be here because it's, it's, it's the first, uh, it's a beginning, I think, of something that is going to be huge. I'm sure that people are going to love it because you're really in the, in the condition of, of a pro. Beside Cordy's car and caddies, those privileged golfers can rely on coaches during their practice station. Having someone like Philippe Bana, who usually works with pro golfers on big tours, is an incredible experience and asset for the game. We try to help them to understand more the golf course and uh, to give some very, very easy ideas to manage it. Philippe Bana was very impressive for us and uh, very interesting. In two, five minutes, he sees exactly what you need. They want to win the first one, so everyone is very excited and they want uh, to show to everybody that they can play and they can play under pressure. This fascinating new tournament needs an exceptional golf course. Ranked number one in South Africa and 34th worldwide, the Lynx Golf Course in Fun Court is an amazing challenge for those skilled golfers. This exquisite Gary Player Design course has hosted prestigious championship. Tyron Farrell, director of the Lynx, unfolds the story of this place. The course opened in the year 2000 by the, the, the owner, Hasso Platner, and Gary Player. He has uh, transformed what was once an airport and an airstrip where planes used to come and land back in the 60s and he transformed what is now the links. If you look behind me, you can see an undulating landscape that is all created from scratch. Every single hump and hollow was created and floated in um, and using about 700 cubic meters of soil to create this environment. 
We've hosted a numerous uh, events over the, over the short history of, of the club. Um, the biggest event was the, the, the President's Cup in 2003. We had the Ladies World Cup of Golf in 2005. The, the South African Open, which is the second Open in the world in 2006. And then subsequent to that in 2012, we had the European Volvo Champions. The club itself is a, is a, very, uh, a very private club. Um, we don't do more than 7,000 rounds on an annual basis. Uh, we feature 73 memberships at the club and we only allow a certain amount of hotel guests today. It really gives you that, that sense that you're on the course on, on your own when you, when you come play golf with us. After the relatively relaxed practice round, a very stressful first round awaits the golfers. A rainy day makes the challenge even more difficult and caddies reveal themselves very valuable. That makes a big difference actually because we are not really used to that and uh, when you're not carrying your bag and you have you know, all the advices from the caddy, those guys are very good so it's very very helpful especially here because you don't see very well you know, the holes because there's a lot of blind shots. On the next morning the sun is back, fulfilling the atmosphere with smiles and happiness but you still can feel the tension on the driving range. Players are ready for the second round. The best players on the caddies are now entering the real pressure, the kind of pressure that only pro golfers who have been in contention to win have felt. This unequal competition is coming to an end. One last bet in front of the Majesty Clubhouse. Like in Pro's world, the experience is not over yet. The prize giving ceremony and the dinner gala are following the competition. It gives players the opportunity to look back and talk about these unbelievable moments. I'm very proud, very honored to, uh, to have won this beautiful trophy. Uh, this, is a, this is a great event. The trophy is just you know, uh, a sign of you, know, you try to do your best uh, and at the end, you know, you were better than the others, uh, it was very close. I've had a lot of golfing experience in my life and the pleasure to play as an amateur like a pro is unparalleled. We didn't have to do much, we just had to get dressed, go out and go play and everything else was taken care of. It was just an amazing experience again. From day one to the end, you're just in it. Uh, everything is done that you stay focused on your game. Everything is planned, organized uh, in such a way that you feel like you know you're playing the Masters in Augusta. For the back nine holes, at the 17, I was minus one, so I was nearly a pro. So I think it's the spirit of a tournament. After those very demanding three days, it is time to relax. Frédéric Gou, a renowned architect who works at places like the French Riviera, Dubai, and in the Indian Ocean wants to discover more of the South African's treasure. After a reckless walk with lions, Frédéric takes place in an elegant Baron Beechcraft 58 for an unforgettable tour over Mossel Bay and Neisner. I was just sitting next to the pilot, so it was also amazing for, you know, to take off and landing, then to fly like him, it was simply something private and uh, exceptional, I never did it in my life. It was such an experience in a, such a comfortable place, so easy to do, so private, so it's a kind of a gift we have just uh, after such a tournament, which already is a gift. Aircraft is a Baron 58, Beechcraft Baron. It's uh, got six seats, it's uh, with a pilot and plus five guests. It's uh, available for private use, for scenic flights and uh, for distance flight. This leather seat is very comfortable, very nice and very fast as well. Mario, the pilot, has a lot of experience. Former captain on British Airways, he is now running his own tourist company in this region known as Garden Route. The Garden Route is one of the most quaint places to visit in South Africa, probably after Cape Town, the second most popular destination in South Africa. Uh, Garden Route is approximately 250 kilometers long from Mossel Bay to Tsitsikama and is uh, known for that because it forms a natural garden between the ocean and a row of mountains all the way along the coastline. We have wonderful, beautiful beaches, long white beaches, 
um, some very private beaches as well, which you have access to. It is a holiday destination, um, and the best time of the year would be any time from uh, November right through to May uh, to come visit the Garden Route. South Africa is also well known for its attractive wine road. A few hour trip and here you are. Franchouk is where it all began when French brought wine savoir faire in this valley. Stellenbosch is another very famous area with numbers of prestigious wine estate. Ernie Els, the South African multiple major winner, has his own wine farm here. Ernie's love for wine grew over time, you know, golf and wine are quite closely associated, especially um, after, after tournaments and after games. In 2000, um, Ernie decided to make his first wine, which was a signature, and it was really well received around the world. We've been making wine now for 15 years. We bought this property in 2005, and uh, it's really been wonderful to see the, the natural growth of brand Ernie Els over the last 15 years. We make the wines during uh, February and March each year. And um, so we've just come out of harvest now and it's been really exciting 2015 vintage. Um, the wines that we make are really concentrated, full bodied and I was really happy with the, with the quality of the 2015 vintage. This is our Winnetique area where we uh, mature our wines over a period of time. So with the first maiden vintage which is the 2000, uh, you will see right over there right through until um, the 2010 vintage which is now also in, in the Winnetique. Uh, and we lovely, it's lovely to go back to, the, um, to these older wines and actually use them as a reference. And uh, when we're looking out to how to make our blends, how to improve our blends, to see the wines that we made and how they've matured and if they can keep um, over the period of time that we're actually looking for. We make wines in Holderberg with lovely north-facing slopes of luscious, rich, warm um, red wines uh, that are coming from the which a company um, red meats um, really, really well. So um, if you're looking for a, a luscious, full experience on a, on a glass of red wine, Ernie else is the wine for you. The Big Easy loves to relax in this amazing place and visitors can share his passion for wine. And of course, they enjoy a stop in the trophy room where his two Clara jug stand alongside two US Open trophies. What a nice way to end the first stage of the World Amateur Tour in South Africa. Players are now focusing on the second stop. They will meet in Paris at the beginning of June and will play the very exclusive course of Montfontaine, another great venue for this ultimate competition.